Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Bomb Twin Mom. My name is Victoria, and... Dad. A.K.A. Ryan is here to join us. So today we're going to tell you the story of how we found out that we were having twins. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy story. We were not expecting it at all. But it all started when we were off our birth control. I think in May of 2016 we started trying. And she was working like crazy. Like... 15, 16 hour days as a nurse hospital. all and the you time. You were working crazy shifts too yeah, at the yeah. prison, doing overtime. So we were really stressed out and we were also planning our wedding, which was in September of 2016. And we had just bought a house too. Yeah, so we just did everything all at once. Story you know? of our life, basically. We did that every time. We're crazy and we kept taking pregnancy tests all the way through and I remember thinking, like, why isn't this happening? I took so many pregnancy tests, Ryan. We'll to put into perspective how many pregnancy tests she took, it was like we started with like the ten dollar test, and then whittled our way to like the two for a dollar test. And we probably should have, like, the town should have wrote us a letter about like, hey, why are you throwing out so much plastic? Because she'd be like, this, oh, I'm not pregnant, honey. Didn't you take a test this morning? Yeah, but I'm still not pregnant. Yeah, but maybe I'm going to take one like this afternoon or like, later tonight. Maybe I'll be pregnant then. So that's kind of how it went down. Um, <laughs> so then I had my bachelorette party in August of 2016. I still wasn't pregnant. We, we had been trying. I just got like frustrated. And then I took a pregnancy test two days before our wedding in September. And I wasn't pregnant then either. But um, the day of the wedding, I didn't take a pregnancy test. Um, and I remember being really emotional um, right before our first Yeah, look. but we're thinking it's just the wedding. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it was just a lot of things going on A lot of things going on. Um, but looking back on it now, maybe it was a sign of something. I don't know. We very but, well could have been pregnant at our wedding. But two days before, she, you weren't pregnant. Right, I wasn't. And we were so busy, we weren't exactly like, you know, super intimate those two days, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, we were just overwhelmed and had a lot of planning, last minute things to do. So, the night of the wedding, we got crazy wasted. Nine, I had nine shots, shots of tequila. tequila. I kept track, I was like taking, I was like putting like marks on my arm to like remember how many I was having. Yeah. You were going, we're going crazy. Hard on the dance floor. <laughs> Yeah, we had the strobe lights, we had like the fog machine, we were just dancing the whole uh, night away. Eating donuts because we had donuts. We had instead donuts of instead of a cake. Oh, it was good awesome. Lord. It was a good time. Yeah, we, we had a great wedding. But at then, least we had a good time at our wedding. And then the next day wasn't so fun. Yeah, but the next the, day we were recovering. And then the, the day, day after, after is when we went left for our honeymoon, honeymoon Iceland. We went to Iceland. And the reason being is because we had been planning on getting pregnant and we didn't want to go anywhere that had Zika. So we felt Iceland would be like a cool adventurous place to go where we could see a lot of naturey things. Yeah. We like naturey things and hiking. But we already paid for going to Thailand at first. And we were going to go to Thailand and Cambodia for like a month. And we almost didn't get our money back. But thank yeah. God though, because you would have been eight and a half months pregnant with twins freaking out. Yeah. That are you going to get some type of disease or doing this? So it really worked out. It worked out. It worked out for the best. Um, so we're in Iceland and it was way colder than we thought. And oh, yeah. I remember Bring it was raining sure. a lot like the first day that we got there. It was raining. But um, I think two days into our trip, we just were in the car. I said, I was hinting to her because before those two days, as soon as we landed, all of a sudden it was like, you know what, Ryan? Forget you. You know what, now that you're husband, I'm, this is really who I am, Cruella de Vil. You know what? <laughs> That's really nice. Uh, you, know, you know what, oh, you're trying to be nice, you want to give me a massage, you want to go hold my bags, forget you. <laughs> she was like Little Miss Attitude for a couple days, and I'm like, I cannot believe this. This is my wife? At first I thought it was jet lag because... Time change. It's time was, changes, yeah, you know what I mean? My country, everything was new. But I felt the same way. So in the car you said what? I think, I think, I mean, joking around, I think you're pregnant. Like, what are you, pregnant or something like that? Yeah, and and he also said that you hate me. I don't know that those were like the exact words. We I remember used. this part a little differently. And I also remember saying like, I really don't like you back. And we were like, well, why the heck did we even get married? So at that point, we were like looking down at like, down the throes of like a divorce or something two days after we got married. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so. And it continued on. Like the next day was not so good either. Mm -hmm. We we're driving and it's just like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah, like, so for our honeymoon, we actually drove around. Um, oh, yeah, the Iceland. whole. So we did country. a whole road trip. So we were in the car together a lot. And, um,. Yeah, we were just not getting along. I remember on one of the hikes, I was getting really out of breath, um, which was abnormal for me because I was in shape. And then another night, I remember going and laying down and feeling like a hot flash, which was like abnormal. But I just didn't think anything of it because we had been trying since May. Nothing happened. I had just taken a pregnancy test. It was negative. We're on our honeymoon. I want to enjoy our time. Right. Yeah. And so, again, I still just kept thinking like, this is all going to pass and we're going to be fine and we're not going to get divorced. <laughs> yeah. No, and that's what I know. I, I just couldn't understand why we were doing it because we're like, you know, butt buddies. Like we don't ever argue for the most we're part. Best really. And I was just like, I cannot believe this is who I married. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so we're going and we're going to find um, like this, I think it was a, I don't know where we were going, but we were on what was called an F road. An F road, you got to have a four by four, like you're bump a bump a bump a bump. It's like yeah. you got to have a pretty serious vehicle on some of these things. You were like driving on the moon. It's really insane. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely like driving on the moon. Yeah. Uh, and and We've um, been there. and all of a sudden she's like, slow down, slow down. And you know the weather wasn't great, but I'm like, hun, I'm going you know 15 miles an hour, so I slow down to 12 mile an hour. Slow down, slow down. I'm like, Jesus. I'm I just kept saying, like, please be safe. Like, slow down. You're going too fast. You're going too fast. And there's a lot of rocks, but I think I just kept saying it to you so many times. You got really frustrated. Oh, my gosh. And you were like, stop. please stop telling me to go slow. Like, I'm driving. If you want to drive, you can drive. And I was like, no, no, no. You can drive. We're yeah, like, because that's the story of her life is like this. Oh, you want to go somewhere? Sure. Okay, you don't mind driving? But she did drive on that trip. That was probably like her last time driving. But yeah, um, that was a big help. But so I said, I said, honey, I really do think you're pregnant because what is with this attitude? This is like ridiculous. So up until that point also, I remember thinking like I had some weird food things. I remember having fish and chips and the aioli dip I loved, which is very bizarre. Yeah, she usually I doesn't like mayo. hate mayo. And then it I was remember, delicious. <laughs> I really want that again. And then another time we were um, having langoustine sandwiches and they're really good and they're mm. really cheap and you can't find anything cheap there. So we ended up going back for those langoustine sandwiches the next day. Right That's like lobster, we, yeah. It was the same, ver yeah, pretty much lobster. We had those again the next day and I remember the next day thinking like, oh, I cannot have this again. And I love lobster, and that, that was my Yeah, and there was, was like nothing was, she wanted to eat. Granted, the food completely sucks. I mean, the food really, really sucks. Really sucks. But I love seafood, so I was yeah. just I was just surprised and taken aback by the fact that I just didn't want. She could eat lobster food. every day. That was weird. Yeah, it was weird. But again, didn't think anything of it. So now, after the F road that yeah. night, we ended up staying in. I'm gonna mispronounce this, but my Vatin. Do you I, remember how to pronounce my, it? My my my. My button. Mine and the <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know, but it's a it's a very cool spot. Like I I we only stayed there one night, but I wish we stayed there too because they had like the ice caves and yeah. You know. So that night we actually um we went to uh like the Mayvatan nature baths. No which, sulfur sulfur baths. Yeah, I think it's called Mayvatan oh, nature baths, I but I think it's a sulfur bath. Yeah. Um, and that was really awesome. I was. In the pool area, and then we went into the hot tub. People from all over the world, and you can different tell languages, they're from all over the languages. They're world. speaking different languages. It was amazing. And then I remember thinking, like, oh my god, what is that thing up in the sky? And it looked really weird. It was like a cloud, but not like a cloud. And I remember saying, Ryan, look at that thing. And then it turned into the aurora borealis. So we got to see the aurora borealis while we're hanging out in the hot tub. Very cool. It was amazing. And so that the next day, um, we ended up going to get a pregnancy test mm. because I had been thinking like maybe we should investigate right. a little further. I remember my breasts got a little bit bigger and I was like, okay, this is a little um, too similar to like pregnancy related symptoms and Ryan was just still convinced that I was pregnant. I, I've, since I said it, and I, I was, was sure. And I was convinced to tell him that I'm not and take the pregnancy test. So we went to, um, we went to the pharmacy and the pharmacy, mind you, closes at 2 o'clock. Right. 
Um, but we got in there. I took the test. In the pharmacy's a, bathroom. There's a bathroom in the pharmacy. Ryan went off into the car and yeah. was like, I'm going to be in the car um, waiting for you. Yeah. And so I took the test. And I remember looking at it and two lines popped up immediately. Um, the test line popped up and then um, the control line. But the test line was thicker and darker than the control. So I remember like looking at it, trying to figure out like where's the plus sign because I'm used to having a plus sign right. as you're pregnant. And then I looked at the box and I compared it and everything's kind of a different language, but I figured it out that two lines means you're pregnant. And so like my jaw dropped and yeah. I, I, I didn't know what to even do. So she comes out and tries to play it cool. <laughs> as soon as I saw her skin, I knew she was pregnant. She couldn't play it cool for a freaking second. I'm not a good liar though. So maybe that's why. Probably. <laughs> So I was just like, yeah, we're pregnant. And Ryan's arm, you you hit your hand so hard on the ceiling of the car that like you had, uh, you started bleeding on your knuckles. Yeah, I may have. I don't, I don't really remember, but I, you know, it's coming back. You were really me. excited. And, um, was really excited. Was really excited. Um, the next day we ended up doing like a cool hike. Um, and what was it? It was like the pseudo volcanoes yeah, yeah. and um, we nicknamed our uh, baby Pinhead. Uh, oh, Do you yeah. remember that? It, because we thought, well, there was one. So we're like, oh, Pinhead. There's one Pinhead, right? Yeah, we're pregnant. And that was really fun. We had pizza that day. Delicious. That, that was actually... We pretty much had pizza the whole trip. We actually did have pizza every night because the food was that bad. But even I'll the pizza anything. wasn't even that great. No, that one was good. That it was, was like good. a blue cheese, red onion, delicious. I know you didn't eat that one. That was good. And then the other... I wish we knew where that other guy's one was. Yeah. Because that was a good one too. That was really good but The rest one. of them are just like, oh. Yeah, the food oh. is awful. If you don't get anything from this video, just remember, the food's awful. Yeah. We should be making a video about how, they, you know, what, you, what to eat in Iceland. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm pregnant. The rest of the trip, I remember we saw, we went like on a beautiful hike and we, I just had my pregnancy test in my pocket the whole time, and we'd like slip pictures oh, of like, oh, we got time. pregnancy test, and it's like beautiful background. Every time, doers, trust background. me, there's like 400 pictures where we're like, <laughs> hey, get it, get it, quick, get it, quick, so we don't look weird, you know? So there were other symptoms. I remember I was um, really turned off by the smell at one of the hotels that we were It did at. stink, though. It was awful. Um, it was in a beautiful place, though. It was like right on the water and the ocean. Yeah front but they were cooking up some kind of fish and at that point anything fish or and like oceanic like yeah. was turning me off like i literally ryan held the door open for me as held i ran nose through the hall through. with my nose like clamped like that it was awful and i remember like close the door close the door so that the yeah. smell wouldn't come in our room because i'd be left smelling it and being nauseous the whole right, time right. um and then, so we knew we were pregnant yeah. pretty much the rest of the trip. We were really excited. We didn't tell anyone until we got home, which I liked because we kind of yeah. kept our own little secret. And then like, I remember her, as soon as she found out, she's like, oh my God, I was soaking in that hot sulfur bath last night. And you're oh my God. Soup, and my also God. too, and it's like, I know we were joking about drinking at the wedding, but like we never drink. Yeah. And, but when we got there, we had heard that like alcohol is so expensive you should just buy a bunch of it just in case you want it. So we bought like a ton of it. More than yeah. we would ever drink anyway, but we we're thinking We had like, more booze than like clothes in our bags. Yeah, like what, what, you know, what if we meet some people and stuff like that? We're gonna have enough for everybody. So we bought it and then before we drank any of it, we had to give it all away because she We would just pregnant. give it like to random people as gifts. Like we Thanks were, for cleaning our room. Yeah, thank you so much. You were so great. We really loved your pizza. Here's, yeah, here's a bottle of vodka. Yeah, it's only $80, <laughs> you know what I mean? They probably really liked us there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so then on the plane ride home, yeah. then that is when the nausea had turned into uh, such severe uh, nausea, I vomited. So, but she made it till the last hour. Like her head is in my lap and I'm just like, it's going to be okay. It's going to, we're going to make it. I think a little foreshadowing though was when we were waiting for our plane. Remember we were really into Joe and the juice. And you were like, let's get our one last meal at Joe and the Juice. Yeah. And then rock salt was turning me. Flake salt. Flake. It's Flaky like a thicker. Uh, salt. Yeah. I was like, that's so gross. <laughs> and that's 
so weird. But she wanted it on everything the first you know. the first few days of the trip, and then after that, I was like, uh, uh-uh, no, 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 I can't eat mm. that. And I couldn't find anything to eat right before our flight, and I was just so nauseous. And then, then it was Ryan, me, and then um, another gentleman sitting next to me. Poor guy. And I remember. The last hour of the plane ride, we're watching um, Bad Moms, I think. I was watching that, and I don't think I finished it because um, I started vomiting into my puke bag over and over and over again for the last hour of the plane ride. It was awful, and then it just continued on <laughs> all the way home. So we were at the airport, and we had a two-and-a-half-hour to three-hour trip home. Long ride. Puking the whole time because the driver of the car was like a maniac. He was driving insane, and he was just like hitting the brakes and then pushing the gas. I believe it we was... actually hit another car at one point. <laughs> okay, you know I, mean? I don't know, but, but he, he got us home fast. Yeah, yeah, and that was the most important, and that we were safe, and so was our pinhead. So we thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I was vomiting for I think it was three months straight, and it was really bad but we were able to get an ultrasound in eight weeks and at eight weeks um we found out when we were at our ultrasound that we were having twins so a little bit of that was we you know she's doing i think the vaginal one yeah yeah the the vaginal ultrasound so that's where they put the transducer into you and um she, the moment she put it in there she goes congratulations you're having twins. Oh. And I remember, and I said, oh my God, are you serious? I'm going to be, I'm going to be a whale. I almost yelled at her. I was like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> yeah. You were, and Brian goes, no, you have to be serious with me because this is not a joking matter. Are yeah, we really having twins? <laughs> and she goes, no, no. Like, yeah, you're having twins. And uh, I just couldn't handle it. You always wanted twins though like yeah. it was really bizarre ryan's Past always tense. ryan's always been like oh my gosh i can i just hope we have twins like that'd be so great and i remember thinking like i just want the experience of holding my one baby and giving them all my attention being a first time mom i'm with you know i got this like i could handle it but yeah, it just changed like our whole plan. I wanted to have a vaginal yeah. birth. I wanted it all to be at home. Um, yeah, that just when you're when you're having twins, you could pretty much kiss like yeah a anything home you birth have planned. Guy. Yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, so that's when our one pinhead turned into two pinheads, and we heard two really healthy heartbeats, which was very reassuring. I was like head over heels. I did. I, I fell in love with like. Both of them immediately. The sound is very cool when you hear their heartbeat for the first time. And I remember on our car ride home, we, you were saying like, you're really excited, but you're like you're, you were doubly as. Oh scared. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, when you hear that noise, that's like this the the sound of you being a nervous wreck your whole life. You times know what I mean? Times two. two. Times two. Yeah, we went to the store and we, uh, you saw someone that you kind of knew and you're like, hey buddy, we're having yeah, twins. Yeah. And I remember just like going through the store with this massive smile plastered on my mm. face. Like that smile would soon twins. end. You know what I'm saying? No, saying? not soon. It would end when the yeah, twins Yeah, seven came. months later. Yeah, seven months. Oh yeah, yeah. You're More right. or less. Yeah. So that is how we found out that we were having twins. Mm-hmm. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, we would love to hear them down below. Um, yeah, the reason we're doing this video is because of a comment. Yeah. So, you know, keep them coming. We love to do them. Subscribe so you know when the next ones are coming out. Some of them will just be featuring mom. Um, some might be just featuring dad. Although. And soon you will be able to meet the twins too. We are working on that. But Maybe. we enjoy this time away from them. <laughs> So why we're doing these videos together for now. Oh. Um, but yeah, we hope to see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.